it is becoming totally clear, and this was the subject of my most recent book, that the most economically valuable skills in today's economy are increasingly the skills of deep human interaction. What are humans most driven to do? This picture gives you a pretty good idea. In person, face to face, talking. What makes us valuable? Three things, empathy being the foundation of all of them, the ability to discern what someone else is thinking, whatever it may be, and respond in an appropriate way. This picture often surprises people. When you think of empathy, you don't think of a soldier with a gun. But I show it for two reasons. One, it's exactly what's happening in this picture. Looking each other in the eye, each trying to figure out what the other one is feeling or thinking. And I also show it because in all my research on this topic, I have not found any institution anywhere that understands the importance of the skills of deep human interaction and that trains those skills more intensively or effectively than the US military. That surprises a lot of people, but it doesn't surprise anyone who's been involved with the US military in the past 15 or 20 years. Second, what makes us valuable? Creative problem solving together. Our problems are too hard for us to solve on our own. We need to do it in groups. And what makes groups effective is not what most of us think. It's not the satisfaction or motivation or cohesion of the group. It's their ability to read one another. It's back to empathy. It's their ability to read one another. In groups like that, they really solve problems creatively and effectively. That's mission control at Apollo 13, the one where they really did say, Houston, we have a problem. One of the all-time great examples of creative problem solving together. And finally, what makes us valuable, storytelling. This is surprising also because our organizations traditionally have not valued storytelling. They value charts and graphs. And we're going to always have to make our business decisions on the basis of good data and analyzing good data. But analyzing data effectively is just what technology does better and better. It's not for us to do. What we know is that if you want people to remember something, if you want people to be inspired to action, if you want to change people's minds, don't show them data. Tell them a story. Jack Welch, CEO of General Electric, had a lot written about his success, but he always said what was overlooked was his ability to tell a story.